Hello everyone. So we've finished our rosebuds and we're going to continue on with bullion knot and tonight we're going to create a bullion knot bear, a teddy bear using bullion knots. Now in the book they've got a bright yellow bear but I'm thinking I'm going to use this natural coloured, um, I think it's crochet yarn. There's a little bit of paper in the middle of it. Let's have a look. Three ply crochet thread DMC. A crew made in Bulgaria. So I think this is a vintage um, piece as well, but probably still available. So a nice a crew, and I think it will contrast okay. It will still be visible, um, particularly over the brown area, but I think it will still be visible even where the white is. So I'll take a length of that. Now what I've done is what it says to do in the book. I've drawn myself a little bear shape, including ears. They don't actually say the exact size to make the bear, but then they do suggest the number of um, wraps to do. So I guess we'll just have to see if the number of wraps is right for the size of bear that I have created. To give you a sense of scale of my bear, it's um, sort of that top section of my finger. Sorry, just bumped the camera. So I hope you're all having a great day or a great evening. So we're going to start off by making um, the body parts. So we're going to secure a thread on the back of the fabric, bring to the front of the top of the bear's body. Um, and so we're going to just do the central um, bullion knot that will run down the length of the bear's body. So we'll pop out at the top. We'll bring our needle from the bottom of Mr. Bear. Pop our needle out at the top, just near where the other one was. We don't want to catch the thread though. And then we want to wrap one, two, they say 10 times. So let's see how that looks. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. I don't think that will be quite enough. So I'm going to go 11, 12, maybe 13, 14, I think. I think I'll do 14. We'll see how that looks. And I think in the book they're doing silk thread, but this is just a, a regular cotton. Save the silk thread for the stuff where I've done my practice with a, a cheaper, cheaper thread. Okay, and then we're just going to anchor down our little bear and we'll see how we think the 14 um, twists look. I think that's pretty good because it's actually covering the, the length nicely and giving me a nice little bulge, but it's not curling around too much. Um, and then I'm going to work um, bullions either side. And so they're suggesting 11 wraps, so they've increased by one. So I'll probably increase maybe by two with mine. So what did I do? I did 14. So we'll do 16 here, I think. 16 wraps. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15, no, we'll go 16. See how that goes. Let's live on the wild side, hey? Okay, there we go. That's pretty perfect, I reckon. And so we're going to anchor that down next to that one. And then we'll do one on the other side. Again, popping out at the top. We're up to 16, weren't we, on either side? Okay, and when you pop out, just make sure you're not skewering any thread anywhere because that will make it hard when you come to... Oops, sorry, just bump the camera. Down quite close, that's the problem. 
thread where it needs to be and then one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen there we go Okay, I'm going to anchor that down the bottom. And then they're telling us to do some seven wrap bullions on either side for the rest of the body. I'll just start it from slightly graduated down. So it does help having that little drawing there because it sort of gives you a bit of a guide for where to where to start your your wrap so they've said seven so maybe we'll do nine one two three four five six seven eight nine is that nine maybe i'll do ten i'll do ten i think i have to remember ten so I won't be able to ask you, alas, when I get to my other side. I have to remember it myself. You'll be yelling at the screen, but I won't be able to hear. I'll be able to hear in the live chat and you can tell me how bad I am at remembering numbers. Whereas I can remember where I've seen something on a page, but numbers, they just don't stick in my head. Okay, so 10, 10, we're remembering 10. the needle through popping out just just near the top but not right where the other stitch is and then ten we can do this one two three four five six seven eight nine ten there we go and then pulling through pulling through pulling through and then we anchor it down at the bottom so that is our teddy bear's body. I reckon that's pretty cute. Nice little, it's like a nice little padded, padded body. Okay, let's just um, straighten up our fabric as well. So what are we going to work on next? So we're going to do the arms. Okay. So we're going to do a, they're saying a 10 wrap bullion for the upper arm. And then eleven wrap knot under the first for the lower bit of the arm. Okay, so we'll go across from here, I guess, for the arm. So I've just popped across from where the body is out to the outer bit of the arm. And then I think the other one kind of wraps around it a bit more. So I'll just do it like that. We'll see how that looks. So they're saying 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Maybe their arms are a bit longer than my ones. That's 10. I'll do 12. 11, 12. And they do want them to curve a little bit. Maybe 12. I think I did 14 before instead of 10, so I'll go 14, 12, 13, 14, 14. Let's do 14. Let's be bold. Let's not get a knot in our um, thread, though. That wouldn't be bold. What have we got here, my goodness? What is going on? Something has become trapped in something else. Has our end become trapped? Let's try to sort that out before we... We continue on what's happened here I think I've got a little problem Flex, but let's see no maybe we don't maybe all is okay all is not lost no it was just having a little having a little moment okay so our wrap has become slightly slightly mangulated but let's see if we can just fix it up with the needle, just get it to sit 
where we want it to sit with the needle, which I think we have. So never fear, never fear, never fear. Okay, so that's the one little bit of an arm. I think that's quite good. And then their arm sort of then just comes from the other side of it, like that. And then I guess we just bring it over from closer to the body, maybe. And they made that slightly bigger. So we were doing 14, so maybe we do 16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Give that a go. It's okay if it's a bit bendy because it does have to kind of wrap back around. And just easing it. If it gets a bit stuck, just try and sort of keep keep a grip on still something trying to... There's like a little knot, I think, in um, my thread. So I'm going to attend to that once I've got this one in position. So I'll just pop it down, I think, a bit more up there so it gets just positioned just right. There's the little little arm made up of two two little bullion knots. Now I'm going to attend to my thread because what's been causing the problem is it's just got a little cross over here so that's why it caught both those two times but that's now fixed. So let's do the same on the other side. What were we doing? We were doing six, 14 and then 16 that's right. Fourteen for the top bit of the arm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Holding on to our loops as we pull them through. And then there we are, and we're going to anchor it down at the end of the arm. It's like a little muscle bear, got lovely little muscly arms. Um, and then we'll bring it back into the body. Like that. And we were doing 16. One, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. It seemed like quite a lot, but I think it'll be okay. Okay, sliding the needle through, keeping hold of our little, our little loops. And then I'm positioning this little bit of the arm where we want it. Could potentially do one less, I reckon, there. Probably didn't need that quite 16, could have done 15. But we'll just, just twist it over the first one, I think. Might even just put a little anchoring stitch just to hold it down a bit more firmly where I want it. There we go. Okay, and then, oops, what have I done here? Oh, is that the end from my other piece? <laughs> I hadn't tied off my piece on the back, how bad am I? So that's that one, that's that one. We'll just um, leave that little endy bit in there. It's like, what's going on here? Okay, let's let our thread wind out a bit. Um, what comes next? We've done our arms, and so then legs work a 10 wrap bullion knot for the outer leg. So we're doing 14, but I don't think I want my legs quite as long as they've done them. And they've done little funny feet on them, but I think I just want to maybe do two, two knots. So maybe 14 would be, would be perfect. I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Let's do that. So yeah, their legs in their picture are definitely longer and I don't see, I don't see my teddy bear looking like that. Yeah, I think that's much better. Not gonna put, not gonna put little feet on my teddy bear. It's just gonna have, gonna have legs similar to the little, to the little arms, I think. Oops, and I've unthreaded my needle. I think we're almost getting to the end of this bit of bit of thread, but we'll see if we can get one more one more stitch out of it. Okay, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. And then we'll anchor that down at the foot as well. So there's the little legs, which I'm pretty happy with. Oops, sorry, just bang the camera. Not happy with that. <laughs> I'm sure you're not either, especially when you get the clang. Clang of the camera. I will just show you what the um, bear looks like with the feet in case you want to create a bear with feet. So you'd be putting another little bullion knot across there if you wanted a bear with feet. But I don't want mine to have feet. So we'll add some more threads to the needle. the needle off camera. Got quite a long piece of thread but hopefully it doesn't knot or anything on me. Tying a knot and then we'll do the other leg. So we'll start with the outer bit of the leg. And we had 14 wasn't it? 14 was the magic number down here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Here's our fourteen to make the teddy bear's legs. and then we'll do 14 to make the inside of the teddy bear's leg. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. in at the bottom. Oops, my thread just looped around my bullion knot. Don't want that. Ash. There we go. Yeah, those look great, I reckon. Now, onto the head. So let me bring the book down so we can have a look at what we need to do to complete the head. So for the head, we're going to put a um, six wrap bullion or approximate across the top of the body. And then we're going to add two seven wraps, so slightly wider, and then a six wrap um, bullion knot working up, and then some little bullion knots around for the ears. So let's do that together. So we're going to put a approximately six just across the top of the bear's body here. Let's see what distance we need to, yeah, to cover that in. 
Oops, trying not to pincer any other stitches when I pop out, which gets harder when you're in a, a dense area of stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six is what they're suggesting. I might do seven, eight. That should be okay. This is not too, too wide across that bit of the body, I don't think. Yep, that's pretty good, I think. And then they've got um, individual ones coming across the head like that. I'll, I'll follow the instructions. I'm even wondering if you could do one that actually twists around and makes a circle, but I will follow, follow the instructions. So they've got then a seven wrap, two seven wrap bullions. So I'm just popping my needle slightly above where we just did the last line, slightly wider it out and then we'll do the seven wraps one two three four five six seven how does that look maybe eight I think that should be okay oops so maybe we'll do nine just to give him a nice chubby chubby head And then we'll anchor that down on that side. And then do another one of nine. Or maybe I'll do eight, just so it's starting to graduate in a bit. Hopefully by now you're getting a bit of a feel for, yeah, when you're working with different threads. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, yeah, just how many wraps, etc. you need. It's good, you can kind of have a look on your needle and go, does that look about right? Yep. So yeah, that's nice. It's just a little bit further indented in, and then we'll do a final one. So that was seven, was it? So they're saying, yes, yeah, six wrap to complete the hitch. And I might even do less. I'll have a look. One, two, three, four, five. No, I think six will be okay. Do six. Don't want to give him too pointy of a head. <laughs> and then what are they saying for the an eight wrap? bullion on either side of the head for the ears because that does have to wrap a little bit more around. So pop out here and then pop just slightly over so we get that nice little ear shape. So I'm just pincering either side of the ear if you can see there it's quite small. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight is what they say. Nine. Maybe I'll do ten just so we get those nice. Well, maybe that's too many. We'll do nine. We'll do nine. Just want to make sure we get that nice little twisty ear effect. So we'd get that by just bringing it back down so that it twists on itself when it gets pulled through. We could have even done more, but I still think that gives us, yeah, that definitely gives us a little ear effect. And then we'll do the same here. So just pincering either side of the ear, popping out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It was eight, wasn't it? But I did nine. I think I did nine. Okay, pulling that through. And then just bringing it down so we get that nice little curved, cute little ears. Look at those ears. 
think they're my favourite part of the bear. And so they then suggest we put a face on. I always think faces get really, um, you sometimes take away the, the pleasure of a piece when you put the face on because it's hard to get faces in stitching, particularly human faces, um, to look humanistic. But maybe teddy bear faces are a bit different. So we'll give it a go. Now, where have my scissors gone? Ah, oh, there they are. They were hiding. They were camouflaged under the cotton. So um, it says a black thread, but I might use a blue because we're using blues on here and I've got a bit of, a bit of blue over here and a bit of blue over here. Here's this one. So they're wanting us to put some eyes and a nose and a little pointy down mouth as well as a bow in the hair, which I guess we could do pink bow. Go nicely with the roses. Just tying my a knot in the end of my blue. Okay, let's see how we go. Can I do delicate stitching on here? Let's start by... Um, so that one strand of black work three straight stitches vertically over the third bullion knot for the nose. That's Travis shaking around outside my room, if you just heard that. He's thinking that I should stop videoing and um, come and hang with him. I'm actually wondering, do I just do one or will that disappear? It is a thicker. No, I think one's going to be fine because this is a thicker, um, thicker thread. So I think I'll just do the nose and then I think I'll just do the little, little eyes. How's it saying? To do the eyes. Work two French knots for the eyes on the second bullion knot from the top. But again, I might just do a little stitch because I don't want them to be huge eyes. I don't want boggly eyes on my beer. Yeah, I just want little eyes like that, I think. Now to get the next one to come out in the right spot. Well, that's good. When I pulled that thread, it actually sort of um, went a bit more inset, more like one of those little teddy bear eyes set into the fabric. I can always just pull them out a smidge, but I want them a little bit inset like they are. That's pretty cute. It's not over, not overdone. Um, and then they've got a little bow in the hair. So let's have a go at doing that with our pink. So I'll just tie our blue off while we're here. Oops. Do need to clean up my craft desk. It's, it's out of control. Threads everywhere. I've got a pink here that I can use that's a loose thread. Yes, I do. So I think it suggests we bring the threads and we do an actual tie on the front. So what does it say? Using one strand, take thread to the back, leaving a tail on the front, bring to the front, close to the entry point. Uh, so we're going to start on the front, take it to the back, and then we'll tie our little our little bow. So they've got the little lady's bow on the top of the head. Sorry, and I came from the back, whereas I want to go through from the front with my thread, not with a knot in it or anything. I want to leave a tail that we can do the tying with. And bring it up like this then tie our little got a bit of blue thread caught as well from the back where's that coming from i think i caught a bit of the blue let's see if we can get that out of the pink okay let's go back to the front back to the front that's a funny way to describe it there we go let's put a little knot in like you would have and then let's see if we can do a small bow this could challenge me. <laughs> We've managed all the bullion knots, but the, the tying of the bow, that could be the end of me. Let's see how we go tying bows in thread, which is harder than it looks, I would have to say. I might end up stitching it if I can't can't get a decent can't get a decent knot. 
I want to do it that big, so I need to make it a bit smaller, and then I need to hold it and just pull the pull the little bits tight, I guess. If I can, with my needle. I'm just using the needle now, holding the center and pulling pulling the little the little ties. just trim them off and then I think I might put another stitch over just to hold that in place where we want it. I'll just use this other little scrap that I've trimmed off. Hopefully I can get that to do what I want it to do. Okay, so I'll just pop through from the back. threaded my needle and that knot's not big enough on the back. We will get there folks. We will get there. It's always that last little flourish. You go on oh, there and then I oh, know that last little bit. I hope you're having a great day or a great evening when you're watching this. Hopefully the bear's been a nice, a nice change from the, the roses. Hopefully you're not all bullion, bullion stitched out. There we go. So that's just stitched down so that now won't, won't move away. So that's my little teddy bear. I can probably still bring the eyes out a bit more. I might have made them a smidge inset. Just use the tip of the needle just to pull the thread a little pull so they just sit a bit more forward. There we go. I think that's very sweet. It's a cute little bear and he's all all tubby. So there you go. Bullion knot bear. That's definitely a first for me. I've never done a bullion knot bear before, um, especially with a tiny little bow in the hair. Very sweet. So take care and we will be back tomorrow for a bullion knot bow. Ah, so we could have done one, but it probably would have been way too big for our bear. So we might work that over here. And then we've still got some more um, bullion knot stitches to go. We've, after that, we've got detached chain combination. Oh, in fact, we've only got one more after that. So, um, yeah, tomorrow the bow and then detached knot um, making a sunflower type shape. So I guess I might do the bow maybe at the other end and then do the sunflower in the middle no I might um yeah keep the sunflower separate from the yellow so I'll do that down there do the bow in the middle take care everyone and thanks so much for coming along for the stitch along bye